right, so before we get started on the meat and potatoes of the actual video, which is just after this, so hold on, uh, I wanted to pose a thought for you guys, right? Because I am kind of seeing some more feedback on the community post and on Instagram about this bar. And I just wanted to say, when are we gonna stop regarding the Ohio Power Bar as like the gold standard of power bars? Because Rep Fitness just dropped a bunch of power bars, brand new, they look freaking fantastic. And of course, Titan Fitness dropped the Moby Dick power bar that I'm reviewing today, or at least giving my first impressions on, and it sold out almost instantly. So again, I have to ask, you know, is the Ohio power bar really that good? And I think after you've watched this video and you know, more people start to talk about this power bar and the array of different power bars that have come out since, at some point you have to ask, are we really just saying that the Ohio Power Bar is that good? Uh, because I use it with clients at a gym near, nearby and I'm not impressed. I think the Neuralink could be sharper. It seems pretty expensive for what it is. And now that there's the Hansu Power Bar, which is IPF approved, uh, at like 237 be honest which is the bar that you would buy just a regular ohio power bar that everybody else has or will you give something new its chance and that's it that's all i wanted to say so now enjoy the rest of the video Welcome back to the channel. I'm Big Mike and today we have something special. We have the Moby Dick Power Bar from Titan Fitness. That's right, they finally came out with the Power Bar. And before I get into my first impressions, I just wanna say, look, <laughs> I get it. I know what you're gonna say. I know what you're already thinking. And that is one, how can I give an honest review when I am so clearly biased? And two, Titan Fitness, what? Who even buys power bars from them anymore? Well, I will say they sold out fairly quickly. And uh, to their regard, I know you guys may not like them, but the shipping was super duper fast. I ordered this when it came out and it's here on the, what's today? The 7th of June. So actually not bad. The packaging, uh, well, <laughs> that's when you get a little bit closer to being what Titan Fitness is known for. There was what seemed to be after they handed it off to FedEx or UPS, the packaging broke a little bit and they had to tape it after. I don't think Titan Fitness would purposely send that that way, but if they did, then, you know, <laughs> shame on you. Uh, that being said, it came in okay condition. And before we, you know, get off of the packaging, I just want to say, uh, you know, they went a little bit above and beyond. <laughs> Not anything to do with the bar, but they uh, went ahead and added some of that like ship rope uh, onto the packaging, which I thought was, you know, a fine detail. Not needed, but good on you for trying. And now we get to the actual power bar. So this is a 20 kilogram power bar with a 29 millimeter shaft. It has a glossy white Cerakote. That's actually really nice on the knurling. I don't think it took away very much from that. And I will say that this bar right here is probably the best knurling I have felt on the Titan Fitness bar. And I've had a chance to use most of their bars. And I'll say that this is pretty close to the bare naked uh, power bar from Bells of Steel. That being said, it doesn't have the prestige that Rogue Fitness has. Uh, so maybe you guys may not look at it as a viable option, for a power bar and we have to bring up the elephant in the room uh it's not ipf approved right and you can get something for even cheaper than what this retailed at 249 uh you could get the hansu power bar uh which 
I think I got for $236, $237 shipped. But if you're looking for this particular coating with a gold titanium sleeve, this is it, man. This is really nice. And the collars even have that same little fishing boating rope. I don't know what it's called, but it's sticking to that nautical theme. So that's nice. It's really hot out here. So uh, just going back to the grip here, it's really hot and you would think it would slip out of your hands. Did not have that issue whatsoever. Granted, I am going a little lighter. I'm really close to my meat. So not going super heavy right now. Uh, but yeah, the knurling is actually really good. And you can tell, maybe you can tell in the video that it has that clear like cutoff point on the knurling, which is really nice. And obviously they, again, they went above and beyond with their end cap, probably the nicest end cap I've seen from Titan Fitness. Uh, one of my favorites all over and so far yes I am very satisfied with a $249 power bar from Titan Fitness and that brings me probably to my last point thank you Titan Fitness thank you for coming out with the power bar because when I buy when I bought my powerlifting uh, gym set you guys didn't have one I had been asking for this a power just a power bar it didn't have to be this it didn't have had to have to have all the bells and whistles it could have just been like a regular bare steel bar and i still would have got it but you guys did go for the shinier more aesthetically pleasing bar and now i just have to wonder if i'll use it that much because i don't want to ding it up and even though it has the cerakote coating which will help with corrosion and abrasions uh, and the sleeves that are supposedly a little more longer lasting i Still, like it tore me apart to have to load weights on it because <laughs> I just didn't want to scratch it up or leave like paint. Like my calibrated plates from Titan Fitness, they leave some residue on there. And I, that's why I didn't use those even though I'm supposed to be lifting, you know, meat specifically, but it is what it is. So this is my first impressions video. Uh, obviously I didn't try to cut them any slack uh, again, it's just the first impressions. Maybe some problems will arise. I really doubt it though. I thought it was being pretty thorough. The sleeves are good. They don't have too much spin like you would want in a power bar, uh, but they don't have no spin at all. It's nice. They have bushings uh, and the bar itself has really good knurling. The Cerakote finish is nice and even throughout. It has an obvious stop from the knurling into the actual shiny coat. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to say because, again, I did get a comment that said, uh, you know, Titan Fitness isn't known for their barbells, but, man, I don't have anything negative to say about this. So, I don't know. Leave it in the comments below if you guys have anything to say. Like this video. If you like these type of videos, subscribe to the channel because more are coming your way. And I will see you guys in the next flex.